I like my figures big. Really, really big. Subscriber alert, subscriber alert. Your friendly neighborhood YouTubers rated A for awesome. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you, and you're welcome. Enjoy. Hey, 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 what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the show. It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber, guys, and uh, we are going to be doing, a, I don't know, I don't know what to call this, a compilation video? I really love McFarlane's Big Figs. As you guys know, I complain about the detail and the paint apps all the freaking time, but today we're going to celebrate the bigness, the giganticness of McFarlane DC. Well, McFarlane Mega Figs. And the reason why I say McFarlane Mega Figs is because they are some of my favorite well detailed figures. We're just going to go through just some of them, some of the Mega Figs that I own, and explain to you guys why I love them so much. Cygor, look at this monkey butt right here. Look at that monkey butt. Look at that right there. Now, when he first came out, a lot of a lot of you guys didn't like him, but I love the detail. I love the bloodiness. I love the cyborgness. I know that's not a word, but the detail is just straight up immaculate for this figure. And of course, there's like three different versions of this Cygor. Definitely one of my favorite McFarlane Mega Figs. We can't really speak about Mega Figs without speaking about build a figures. Another a uh, figure, McFarlane figure that has been slept on, this Bane right here, I believe from Last Night on Earth, I could be wrong, and Scarecrow, just an awesome, awesome figure, man. I know a lot of people have detailed this Bane right here, but I like him as is. I love the Scarecrow look right here. He's a little dusty, a little hairy, but nonetheless, great looking figure. Another Build-A-Figure, Dark Father right there. Another slept on Build-A-Figure. Just an overall awesome, awesome freaking piece, man. Highly recommend it if you guys collect DC figures. You will not be disappointed. Speaking of Bane, probably one of McFarlane's best releases. We have Mega Fig Bane right there. The detail is immaculate. Of course, I can always gripe and say, hey, McFarlane forgot to add this, you know, paint app here and here, here or there. I just kind of like it as is. I kind of accept it for what it is, and I do like this Bane. This, I've seen so many people customize this Bane, but I just like him as is. I'm not even going to bother touching this guy. Another builder figure that's been slept on, Solomon Grundy. I end up customizing him to my liking. Just an overall great, great figure. My only gripe about this guy is, I wish he was bigger! I wish he was bigger! And uh, But overall, the detail, the face sculpt is done really, really nicely. Um, and overall, just a great, great looking figure. I highly recommend it if you guys are DC fans. Another figure uh, I end up customizing was Killer Croc right here. Uh, a lot of my other fellow YouTubers and collectors have end up um, customizing this Killer Croc because the paint for this Killer Croc wasn't all that great. But overall, just a damn, damn good body sculpt, good face sculpt right there. Really nicely done. I love this Killer Croc. And then we have this giant piece of crap right here. Clayface, couldn't he have done better? Yes, but I do like the size of this clay face. He is big, chunky, meaty, and full of nuts and this big pile of crap right here. Just an overall great, great mega figure. I really like this clay face. One of the best, if not the best clay face that uh, DC has put out. Speaking of gigantic, and I, I didn't mean to send you uh, that picture of me naked. Anyways, Gigantic Violator right there. One of McFarlane's best releases, man. Uh, definitely an upgrade from some of his other Spawn toys. Probably one of the best McFarlane releases I think ever done. The detail on him is just great. Great. Look at the backbone right here. Look at all this magnificentness. I don't know if that's a word. I'm just making up words as I go along. Speaking of big... Titan Joker right here. Look at this mother right here. Freaking awesome figure. At first, I didn't like him. He grew on me. I do prefer the DC Collectibles one. 
But overall, just a great, great figure. I highly, highly recommend this figure. If you can find them, good looking figure. All right. Going back to build the figures, guys, McFarland has produced some really, really good build the figures. One of them is Atrocitus. Atrocitus is freaking dope. The sleek design, the color choices, really, really great. And he's a big guy as well. And also another sleek design by McFarlane Toys, Beast Boy. Just an overall very slept on build a figure. The detail, the paint apps. I can't really complain with these two build a figures. Really, they're, they're done really, really nicely. We're back with some spawn mega figs. Manga Spawn, great looking figure, big figure. I want more manga releases from McFarlane from Spawn Toys. Great, great figure. And also another figure that came out that people were kind of upset, upset with that was slept on. Of course, I end up customizing this guy to my liking. Just an overall dope, dope figure. This is overkill right here. Uh, apply some paint apps, change up some paint apps, and you got yourself a dope looking figure. Really great looking figure. I like this overkill. One of my favorites. One of my favorites when you add a little bit more paint to this figure. And I don't want to keep you here all day, so I'm going to show you last two. Some of my favorites right here. Calabac, just an overall great figure. The detail is absolutely amazing. Great looking mega fig. I love this figure. The overall detail is great. And then last but not least, I think one of McFarlane's home runs right here. We have a Swamp Thing right there. Looking pretty damn amazing. I love this figure. Don't have to add much detail to him. Of course, I've seen customizers customize this guy. But overall, just a great, great looking Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing. If I pronounce this name wrong, I apologize if I call him something different. I apologize, there is Swamp Thing. All right, guys, if you tuned in for this little video uh, to show my appreciation for my collection, for the stuff that I've been collecting, I've been, you know, accumulating these mega figs. And if you like some of my customs, uh, just leave me a little like, comment, all that great stuff. I just want to thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you in the next review. Peace out.